What does bacon have to do with bipolar disorder? Well, Robert Yokin and his group at Johns Hopkins and Shepard Pratt set out to understand more about that question. They've published a, a two-part study. The first part is a human correlational study, and the second part looks at some basic bench data using animal models to understand how nitrated meat products can affect mental health and affect bipolar disorder. In the first part of the study, the small human correlational study looking at individuals who'd been admitted to Shepard Pratt, there's about 1,100 patients in their sample. What they found was a 3.5 increased risk of having mania for high consumers of nitrated or cured meat products like bacon and salami. In the correlational study, the researchers also specifically examined meat sticks. These are types of processed meats and beef jerkies that are commonly consumed in America. And they found a five times increased risk of having mania if you were a regular consumer of meat sticks. To try and understand some of the cellular mechanisms underneath the influence of nitrates, the researchers then turned to the lab and did a number of investigations and studies with rats. And with the rats, they were looking both at cellular expression in the hippocampus, they were looking for changes in the microbiome, and also doing a number of behavioral rating scales. They found that these nitrate products did change rat physiology and rat behavior in a way that mimicked many of the underlying cellular mechanisms involved in mania and bipolar disorder. So, bottom line, does bacon affect bipolar disorder? Well, certainly it seems there's some evidence that nitrates and the downstream products of nitrates have profound effects in the same pathways that are implicated in bipolar disorder. What does that mean clinically? Well, I'm curious what you might recommend to your patients or how you're talking about meat and meat products, and maybe you can let us know a little bit more in the comments below. I'm Dr. Drew Ramsey. This is the Brain Food Blog.